Hello and welcome to another episode of Barking Good as Chef. On this channel, I share my tips and recipes for feeding your dog quality, human-grade food. But what about foods you shouldn't give your dog? Well, in this episode, I'm going to quickly go over 10 foods that you should avoid feeding your dog and why. Now, before we get into it, I should note that this list is by no means exhaustive. This does not cover every food that you shouldn't feed your dog, but these are 10 of the big ones. I should also note that my research comes from the American Kennel Club and ASCPA, which stands for the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. I should also note that if you see me looking at my phone, I'm not flubbing you. I'm just reading some of the uh, notes that I have on these, okay? Okay, so the first food that you should avoid giving your dog is grapes and also raisins, the dried form of grapes. The reason is because grapes and raisins contain a toxic substance that can cause kidney failure in dogs. Now, interestingly, uh, as of now, we don't know what this toxic substance is, but it's obviously bad. So avoid giving your dog grapes and raisins. Okay, and the second food you should avoid giving your dog is chocolate. Yes, no matter how much they might look at you with those bagging eyes when you break out that Hershey bar or whatever chocolate you're eating, don't give in, don't give it to them. The reason is because it contains a substance whose name I'm probably going to mispronounce. See, I can't even say mispronounce. It is called methylexanthines, and uh, these, are, these can be toxic to dogs. Uh, now, it should be noted that uh, while all chocolate should be off limits for dogs, uh, dark chocolate is even worse for them. But just for safety's sake, don't give your dog chocolate. The third ingredient you should avoid giving your dogs is garlic. I don't know why you would want to give your dog garlic, but uh, just don't do it if you're thinking about it. That's because uh, they can contain a substance that can cause gastrointestinal problems and red blood cell damage. Now it should be noted that cats are actually uh, more susceptible to having problems after eating garlic, but uh, dogs can uh, are at risk too. So that pasta or pizza or whatever you're making with garlic, don't give it to the dog. Food number four to avoid giving your dogs is similar to garlic, and that is onions. Again, I don't know why you would want to give your dog onions. Can you imagine their breath after eating it? But just don't do it. The reason is because uh, they contain a similar substance that can cause uh, irritation to their, to their intestinal tract and that same red blood cell damage that garlic can also inflict. So no French onion soup, no caramelized onions, no raw onions. Don't give your dog onions. Food number five to avoid giving your dog, especially in large amounts, are nuts. And in specifically, we're talking about almonds, pecans, and walnuts. Uh, they contain a large amount of fat, and that fat can actually lead to vomiting and diarrhea in dogs, two things we definitely do not want for our beloved pets. Now, I should note that uh, peanuts and peanut butter are okay because, uh, as you may know, peanuts are actually legumes. So uh, peanuts, peanut butter, those are okay, but other types of nuts are a big no-no. Um, macadamia nuts are another one that uh, can really inflict harm on dogs. So uh, beware of that. I should note that I'll put links to my research pages in the description below so that you can uh, get a little more information for yourself and see more of the ins and outs of why you should avoid feeding your dog these foods. Food number six is xylitol, and if you haven't heard of that one, that's okay. Xylitol is actually an artificial sweetener, and it's found in like gums and mints and things like that. Uh, now, this is something that you, you may not even know that foods have, so that's why it's important when you're feeding your dog any type of food to look on the ingredient list to see what's in it. Uh, now, xylitol can cause uh, insulin release, and um, that can actually lead to liver failure. So something we definitely do not want for our dogs. Food number seven is actually a beverage and that is alcohol. Again, I don't know why anybody would want to have their dog drink alcohol, but don't do it. Whether it's beer or wine or a margarita, alcohol is an obvious no-no for dogs. And that is because uh, it, it contain substances that can cause vomiting, diarrhea, 
Uh, decreased coordination. I mean, hey, we know that one in humans too, right? As far as well as central nervous system depression, difficulty breathing, tremors, the list goes on. So again, I probably shouldn't have to tell you this one, but don't have your dog drink alcohol. Number eight is another beverage, and that is coffee. Whether you're thinking uh, espresso, drip coffee, tea, uh, coffee, caffeine, any form of that is, is gonna be another no-no for dogs. And it's actually the same reason uh, to avoid chocolate. It contains that same substance whose name I'm going to have to try to pronounce again, methylexanthine. Am I even pronouncing that correctly? If you know anything about this substance, let me know if I'm saying that correctly. But um, whether I'm saying it correctly or not, don't give your dog coffee, tea, or caffeine. Number nine is a tricky one, and that is like salty foods and snacks. And we've probably all been guilty of, you know, handing our dog a potato chip or something like that. Uh, I know I have. Again, this is something to really avoid. And the reason is because uh, all, that, all that salt, all that sodium, that can cause problems in dogs. Um, excessive thirst, urination, or even worse, sodium ion poisoning in pets. That does not sound good. So again, this is gonna be a tough one because we like snacks and when our dogs see us enjoying those snacks, they look at us with those big eyes and you know it's easy to give in, but try not to avoid giving your dogs salty snacks. And lastly, number 10, uh, this is probably going to be controversial, uh, but again, I, I am citing some of the, the health experts at ASPA here on, on this, and that is raw meat or undercooked meat and raw bones. Now, I know that folks do uh, raw meat diets, and you know that's a whole other thing, and we're not gonna get into this. Uh, again, I'm just citing what the experts say here to avoid giving your dogs raw meat. I certainly do for mine. Now, the reason is because uh, plain and simple bacteria. Um, you know, raw uncooked meat, uh, just like for, for humans, the reason we don't want to eat that is because it can have a lot of bacteria that can cause us problems. And, you know, same thing for our pets. And this also includes raw eggs, which uh, Aspen notes raw eggs contain an enzyme called avidin that decreases the absorption of biotin, which can lead to skin and coat problems. So again, we're getting a little bit of a science lesson here. Now again, I'm not gonna get into the controversy. Um, you know, I, some folks do feed their dogs raw. Uh, I personally don't recommend it for the same reason because it all goes back to the quality of the source. Um, if you're just buying raw meat at a supermarket, you know, it's, it's really tough to know the quality control of those things. So I always play it safer than sorry and I cook the meat that I give dogs. And um, the, the health experts over uh, at ASPA, they also recommend feeding your dog cooked meats as well. So there you go, those are 10 foods that you should avoid giving your dogs. Now I'm sure some of you will say, hey, I've given my dog this or I've given my dog that and, and they were fine and that's great. But again, these, these are things to avoid and some of the reasons why. It doesn't mean that if you give your dog one of these things, they're gonna keel over, but you know, we love our dogs so much. I, I say, why risk it, right? You know, just, just give them things you know are gonna be healthy for them. We, we certainly don't want uh, to hurt any of our pets. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Guys, I'm just loving the support that you're giving. Uh, thank you for all the, the likes. Thank you for the uh, subscriptions. Uh, and I hope your dogs are thanking you too because that's what it really is all about is, is feeding our dogs the best food we can give them and giving them the best lives that we can give them. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.